What is going on, guys? I'm Tubby Moo, the WWE Championship Money in the Bank ladder match. I did a full commentary. I forgot to hit the record button, so let's get right into it. I want to start off by saying there's three guys I don't think will win Money in the Bank. If they come out to be true, let me know who the three guys you think could potentially just don't have a chance. Um, I think the three guys that really don't have a chance, and, and I'll tell you why, so don't get you know super critical right away. I definitely think... Christian, Sheamus, and um, CM Punk really have no chance of winning the Money in the Bank briefcase. Here's why: I, I and I'll start with CM Punk. I'll go in like seniority level of you know wrestlers, uh, and CM Punk is the number two. CM Punk, I think, I think it was Bleacher Report brought up an interesting possibility where Paul Heyman or Brock Lesnar comes out, costs him the match, it previews, you know, Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk at SummerSlam. I think that's an option. To do that, he doesn't need to win Money in the Bank briefcase. Um, if if he wins the briefcase, that kind of it doesn't necessarily take away a match, because if CM Punk was to win, he could go do his feud with you know um, Brock Lesnar. He could beat him or lose to him. It doesn't matter. Daniel Bryan could go on to take on John Cena, beat him, beat him in the rematch, and then CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan, a rematch from Money in the Bank last year. For the title on the line, except Daniel Bryan's got the title. I'm an excellent booker. Make it happen for Night of Champions, Hell in a Cell, whatever pay-per-view you want to go. I think that would be a great option and kind of uh, twist the the heels, but then what do you do with John Cena? So that's why I don't necessarily think CM Punk is going to win. Um, number three guy, it's kind of a toss-up between Randy Orton and Sheamus. I think Randy Orton would have the best opportunity. These are all faces uh, this could be the start of a heel turn. Obviously, he's shown some heel tendencies. A lot of people always bring that up. I think if Randy Orton was to go out and win and then cash in on John Cena with a punt kick, the ultimate heel move, go out there, and uh, you got to heel. The only bad thing is to that is we have Randy Orton versus John Cena for the WWE title for SummerSlam, and that's the main event. You know, I don't necessarily want to see that. So we're going to hold off on that, but I think Randy's definitely got a chance of winning. And uh, I think we actually might win this ladder match. All right, number three, Sheamus. I don't think Sheamus needs a briefcase. I also didn't think Sheamus needed to win the Royal Rumble. Maybe they're just going to keep filling him up with career acolytes. It seems like they're doing that with the fast title reigns so the guys can stack some more. I don't necessarily see Sheamus winning. I don't think he needs to win, and I, I just don't think it's worth it to give him the, the shot. All right, number four, uh, I'm putting Daniel Bryan ahead of Christian. Daniel Bryan's been booked very strongly. He's beat Randy Orton. He's beat Sheamus. He's beat other people. He has finished Raw off the last two weeks in a row with this mega push kind of out of nowhere ever since Team Hell No split up. And people thought, well, he would kind of go back with, you know, Kane. Who knows? I I think there are a couple different options here with Daniel Bryan. Vince is pushing him. Triple H, whoever's pushing him, they're really pushing him. He's beat a lot of the top-notch superstars. He's going into the pay-per-view with massive momentum. And the question with that is, okay, he's got the massive momentum. Does he need to win the briefcase? If he's got this momentum, he doesn't really need the briefcase. Whoever wins the briefcase can just hold on, not cash it in, just wait. And Daniel Bryan can come out on Monday Night Raw and say he deserves it. He's beat the likes of Sheamus, Randy Orton, you know, and that could be an excellent opportunity. Or Randy Orton wins, and then Daniel Bryan says, I beat Randy Orton. I want the title shot, John Cena. And he says, okay. And then Randy cashes it in on Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam and it sets up a triple threat. Who knows? There's so many different things that could potentially happen. So Daniel Bryan is definitely a favorite to cash in. Christian, I love you, bud, but I don't think you're going to get the title opportunity. Look at the guys you have in the ring that could headline. You know, since he's returned, the electricity for Christian just really isn't there. I love him to death. He's a ladder match specialist. I don't necessarily see him winning this one. Randy picks off the, the Money in the Bank briefcase. Uh, as far as RVD, I think RVD will provide some awesome spots in this match. I don't think he's going to win. If he do, I think it would. It, it's going to go to see if Rob Van Dam can still draw at SummerSlam. The question is, do you want to put a guy in the spotlight for SummerSlam and you don't know if he can necessarily draw? I think WWE might be a little skeptical of it, but I wouldn't be against seeing John Cena versus RVD. So my personal pick, I'm going to go ahead and say Randy Orton or Daniel Bryan. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Who you think is going to win, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Tubby Emu. If you're not able to watch Money in the Bank, I will be posting live 
updated results, spoilers, highlights as the pay-per-view is going on, and Facebook.com forward slash Tubby Emu as well. Let me know who you think is going to win. Who are your top two guys to potentially win? Who are the three guys you think I have a no shot at all? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, we will see you guys later.